All right. Hi, everyone. Bad news. As some of you may remember, on this very channel months and months ago, I talked about one of our favorite platforms for streaming and purchasing music, supporting the underground and independent artists that we know and love, Bandcamp. Now, Bandcamp, per our last discussion on the issue, as you guys may remember, uh, was purchased at one point by Epic Games, who you might know for titles such as Fortnite, which uh, honestly, for a lot of fans, was kind of confusing. What would Epic Games want? with a platform like Bandcamp. Either way, platform got sold. There were a lot of concerns, a lot of worries in terms of what that would mean. Music, and especially indie music, isn't necessarily Epic Games's bag. And on top of it, Bandcamp has already proven on its own to be so self-sustaining and popular that, you know, they might just kind of leave it alone and let it do what it naturally does. And for a while, it kind of seemed like that's what they were doing. There weren't any huge or massive changes to Bandcamp functionality, their employee roster, so on and so forth. So again, for a sec, it just seemed like Epic Games was allowing Bandcamp to do Bandcamp. But then I guess eventually at one point they got tired of Bandcamp doing Bandcamp and wanted to sell it. They didn't even own this thing for two years, just bought it and then wanted to offload it. And honestly, uh, when this announcement came down the pipe, part of me wondered, well, what if it gets sold off to a company or somebody who actually cares about music, cares about indie music? This could have ended up being a positive thing, given that, again, I think a lot of the indie-centric musicians that frequent the platform uh, were kind of skeptical of a video game company owning it. But lo and behold, the platform gets sold off to Song Trader, a company in the music industry, and pretty much off the bat, they fire half the damn staff. It seems a great deal of those people were the platform's editorial staff, which if any of you have been paying attention to what generally goes on on Bandcamp, you know that countless independent songs and records are being uploaded there every day. And historically, there's been a talented and tirelessly working editorial staff on the site, sifting through a lot of this stuff, writing about it, championing it, curating it so that people like you and me can go on the platform and effectively find some cool new stuff. It was honestly one of the cooler aspects of Bandcamp's overall platform, and many veterans of the music writing world have found a home there over the years. Now that's essentially gone, flushed down the toilet, as these layoffs may devastate this side of the platform. Bandcamp United, the organization currently trying to unionize the platform, uh, made a statement about this. I'm sure the company changing hands is uh, going to reset a lot of their efforts on unfortunately. And to add this here, according to Discourse Online, the vast majority of these layoffs have impacted employees at Bandcamp who were union eligible. Song Trader itself has posted about the purchase, and uh, I'm, I'm kind of surprised this isn't getting more backlash. But they begin with uh, the post, we appreciate the great response to the news of Bandcamp joining, uh, not being purchased by, but joining Song Trader. What's, What's here, here is not, not positive. positive. Here are a few important things we want to emphasize about what will happen happen to Bandcamp. It's business as usual, because firing half the staff is business as usual. There will be no changes to existing services or the artist first revenue share. I mean, for now, we can only hope. Will the editorial side of the site even be functional at this point? Who knows? Will there still be Bandcamp Fridays? Definitely things to worry about and be concerned about potentially. And to add this here too, this makes me think back to the statement Epic Games made when they originally bought Bandcamp, saying things like the editorial functions of the site and Bandcamp Friday would pretty much go as is, and uh, Song Trader thus far has made no such assurances. Now, here's an interesting tweet. In the future, Song Trader will offer Bandcamp artists the ability and choice to opt into licensing their music. This will enable artists to continue to own and control their music rights uh, and increase their earning capacity from Song Trader's global licensing network. Now, if you know anything about Song Trader or if you do the least bit of research on them, you know that music licensing is is pretty much all they do. That's literally the entire purpose of Song Trader. With that knowledge, it makes sense why Song Trader would buy Bandcamp because Bandcamp also functions as this gigantic music library of sorts. So of course they look at that and they're rubbing their hands and they're thinking like, oh man, all this music that could potentially be licensed for a myriad of different purposes. We could effectively work as the middleman here between loads of different licensing opportunities, which also explains why 
why they would fire half the staff and a lot of the editorial staff, because they don't care about people writing cool think pieces and write-ups and doing listicles of various great projects and songs on Bandcamp. They just want to use the site as a goddamn music licensing junkyard, a music licensing chop shop, one stop shop, where people looking to use music for uh, samples or commercials, film, television, so on and so forth, can essentially pop in, use some kind of algorithmically enhanced search engine that will bring them to music they can license off of Bandcamp. And maybe the company has figured they can maximize profits being between these sorts of deals when they're working with a smaller artist and independent artist who is on their platform, as opposed to maybe a major label talent uh, with some representation. So again, makes sense that Song Trader would do something like this and not Epic Games because Epic Games isn't in that side of the music industry or the entertainment industry. They have fuck all to do with this. Meanwhile, Song Trader does. So that means they're just going to use Bandcamp to maximize the profits of what they already do and just hollow out the aspects of the site that they see potentially as a waste because they care more about music licensing than they do uh, getting money in the pockets of musicians from the fans who want to support them. I think if this move signifies anything, it's that Song Trader would much rather uh, just kind of like, you know, leech off of what Bandcamp does in order to just enhance the music licensing side of their business. Yeah, this is not good.